So about a month ago, I did a video on what it would cost to build a PC equivalent to an Xbox Series X. And I was pretty blown away by the difference in price between simply just going for the Series X or settling for a PC version of it. And of course, I know there's a lot of different variables about gaming on PC versus gaming on console. And I, and I can appreciate that. But when it comes to the games I play, it made a lot more sense to stick with an Xbox Series X versus just building a PC version of it, especially from a cost standpoint. And so what I got curious about, however, was what would it cost to do the same for an Xbox Series S? right because i've talked a lot about this little console here and i think there's tremendous amounts of value in what microsoft is offering in this and what it actually costs in return so i'm curious now to see what would it cost to do the same if i were to build a pc version of this little console here so let's take a look So in the last video, I went over why some people would choose PC gaming over console in general. And there's a lot of different benefits, especially the fact that you get a home computer that you can do different things on. You also get the added advantage that you get a gargantuan library compared to what you would get on just the console. But one thing that strikes me that I really like about the way Microsoft went into this gaming generation is that they've built two different tiers of console. They've built one for people who want 4K, best of everything, and then they built the Series S, which if you're console gaming, holds a tremendous level of value if you don't need 4K. And I know there's a large demographic of people who play on almost like desktop computers or smaller monitors overall. And when it comes to what this console offers for the price point, I think you get a tremendous level of value. And what I mean is, while you're not gonna be getting the 4K bells and whistles, and in some cases the graphics may be pared down a little bit, I found it very hard to tell between the Series S versus the Series X in terms of graphic fidelity, unless you were trying to play them on a 4K display. But other than that, I feel like this little console here holds a tremendous level of power. And what I'm curious about now is, despite the fact that you're obviously not gonna get a home desktop out of this, you're not gonna get the gargantuan library that you get offered on PC, I'm curious though what it would cost to build a PC equivalent, okay? And so, if we take a look and start breaking this down, so I used a couple different online guides to figure this out, but primarily, I ended up looking at a website called History Computer, which did a bit of the legwork on breaking down the comparison points for graphics cards, cases, all that fun stuff. And to start off, we obviously need a case. So you're about $83. You can probably do a bit of research and get this a bit cheaper, but on average, let's just say you're around 60 to $80 or so for a case. Now, the closest equivalent I could find and the best price I could find for a graphics card equivalent was the NVIDIA GTX 1060, right? Now, this, this as I understand, is the closest GPU you're gonna get for this, for an Xbox Series S equivalent, and that's around $252. Then if you go into the processor, um, the closest equivalent I could find, and this was also based off of History Computer's recommendation, was the AMD Ryzen 5 3600, and on Amazon, this was the best price I could find at $129. Moving into motherboard, um, I went with something pretty just straightforward. Again, you may be able to find something cheaper, but the Gigabyte motherboard is around 150. And then of course we need to get our solid state hard drive, right? So I went to try to do one to one. So I went with a 512 Gigabyte one, just like the pared down basic series S that you can get. Um, you're around $47 for that. And then if we move into the RAM, Again, RAM is something that we can go up and down on. Um, the best recommendation I found just from a quick Google search to match the Series S specs was Team Group's Elite 16 gigabyte RAM. So that's around $65. 
And then if we go into a power supply, which we definitely need, um, the recommended, recommended one I found on like a Reddit group was $150. And then of course we need an operating system to boot everything up. And so we're at around $200 or so, 200 plus again, you may be able to find a cheaper version of this, but for Windows 10, you're around 220 to get your operating system. And if you look at the grand total of that, to build a PC equivalent to a Series S. Now, of course, this isn't gonna be exactly one-to-one, -one, but we're around $1,107 now. Versus if you, on holiday season, you can definitely get a Series S around 300. Um, if you were, even wanted to go up to the black Series S with one terabyte of space, you're around 466. So we're well over double the cost of what it would take to just build a PC equivalent to this, which really just speaks to the tremendous value, in my opinion, of the Series S. Because again, Microsoft has really built something that I think is very economic, economically affordable versus trying to get a PC version. Now again, there's limitations. There's gonna be games on a PC that I can't play on my Series S because they're just simply not available or they were never ported or whatever the reason is, right? But if you're looking at playing general modern games like, you know, Modern Warfares, Assassin's Creed, all those sorts of games, you have the added advantage of this costing a very reasonable price to get you in the door to play those types of games. Not to mention as well, a lot of these games are properly optimized for this console. So they're, in many cases, probably gonna run a bit better than they would on the PC equivalent in some cases. Right, so this was just a quick video kind of going over the differences. Now, of course, I know you can probably search a bit harder and get some of these price points down, but I doubt you're gonna get in the realm of $300 or $466 to build the same in a PC model. So this is just a quick overview on the difference in cost. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you like this sort of content, the best way to support me is subscribing and as well as commenting as well. Thank you.